Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. Uh, today is July 20th, 2010. I'm Ryan, and you're watching The Baby Beaver Bunch. This week's topic was actually suggested by my ex-girlfriend slash amazing sexy best friend. And uh, she asked, um, when you're in a relationship, are you allowed to have side crushes? And should your uh, partner know about them? And our other topic is... I think it was on form spring, but um, where do you see yourself in 10 years? So um, when you're in a relationship, I think that you should be able to have side crushes and like little whatevers because when when you first go into a relationship, it's not like you magically have no more peripheral vision and you're not attracted to anyone else. I mean like you, you can still see people and I mean people are still attractive. Um, I, I think as long as it's, you know, harmless and you're not going to pursue the people that you have a crush on or you're not going to sleep with them or something, that it's fine. And I think that um, your partner should know about it because um, communication is key in any good relationship. And if you feel the need to keep your crushes secret, that's that just makes them not good. <laughs> No secrets, no secrets, especially if it's when, uh, if it has to do with, um, what's going on in your mind or your heart or whatever, um, so I think they should know. So I hope you liked my advice, Mallory. Um, so where I see myself in ten years, I actually don't really know. I know that I want to move to Ontario as soon as I turn eighteen, um, and I'll get my residence after... 18 months, I think, and then um, I'll be 19 and a half, and I also want to build a house while I'm up there, just so I can be able to say, like, when I'm 22, I own a house, even though it's going to be, like, a crappy house, because I built it myself, but yeah, I, I want to build a house there. Hopefully I'll go to the University of Toronto, maybe not, uh, I just want to go to a school for eight years and hopefully get a doctorate. That would be pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to major in or study because I'm interested in a lot of things. As far as transition goes, uh, I definitely want top surgery by then, uh, like as soon as possible, which is why I'm going, one of the reasons why I'm going to Ontario, because uh, it's covered by healthcare. I also want to go to Ontario just because it's amazing and beautiful and the most amazing place in the world. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not sure about, like, testosterone, I don't want bottom surgery, yeah, I'll, I'll put more about that on my personal channel, but, um, yeah, so, basically, I'm gonna be 26, I'm gonna have a job, I'm gonna maybe still be in school, and I'm gonna have a house. As far as a spouse and children go, I actually don't want children until I'm at least 28 because I don't want to make any rash decisions. I want to be able to be a good parent and I want to be able to make good decisions and not rush into things because I'm young and things are blurry and everything seems good and in a year when I have a kid, it turns out to be sheer hell. I don't want that to happen. I want to know, like, 100% that I'm in love with the person that I'm with, that I'm going to have kids with, and I want to be able to raise the kids with a good life. I don't want them to have, um, spouts between the, uh, parents. I don't think that'd be good. Yeah, um, so, I don't know if I'll be married by then, either. I know I want to have a gay marriage. I know that sounds really weird, but I totally, like, if I marry a guy, I want to get my, my gender legally changed to a guy right before, and if I marry a girl, then I, I want to have my gender not changed until I get married. Maybe, maybe that's just for now, but yeah, I, I, I just want to have a gay marriage. I don't know why. Um, but, yeah, I think... That's it. I, I think it would also be really great if I um, magically turned into the Old Spice Man uh, by the time I'm 20, 26. That'd be amazing. I, I guess I'll start using Old Spice or something. He's so amazing. Okay. Um, well, I've got to go wrestle some bears under a pool of acid. 
and um, so I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye guys.